comic book collecting is the symptom, not the condition. Stick around. Let's talk about it. How do I still not have an intro? Hey, it's Ricky from All Sorts of Words, and I've never, ever... What never? No, never. What never? Hardly ever. ever. He's hardly ever, ever sick as see. Never, ever met someone who collected comic books, and that's it. Just like I've never met someone who collected video games, and that's it, or anime, and that's it. Collecting is like a condition that we all have. It's different for everybody. Like, whether or not you're trying to recapture your childhood, or you just like cool shit in your house, or you want to pretend like you're investing, sure, whatever, but we don't just collect one thing. And so although this is primarily a comic book channel, I'm a big old dumb nerd. And I wanted to pose the community a question. And it's this. It's literally this. What else do you collect? So I thought it would be really fun to kind of break the mold a little bit step out of my comfort zone and just briefly talk about some of the other things that I love collecting and having in my life. So here we are. These are the three things that I collect aside from comic books. Books. I like reading a lot. That's not a secret on this channel, but like there's something about books and video game achievements that are weird to me. Like, I don't know, like when I finish reading a book, I, I have the memories, obviously, but when I put it on a shelf, like when I've read a particularly big tome, I feel like I conquered it, especially when it's something like daunting that most people don't like to read. Like, let me let me find you something. Look at this. Look at this thick boy. Uh, this is Anne Rand's Atlas Shrugged. I actually, I brought this with me to uh, Mexico when I wanted to have a beach read. This is what I consider a beach read. But my library is, it's important to me. I, I, I It helps me remember all of the, the places I've been and all the things I've seen. Maybe it's the writer in me that's like so romantic about books that to, to have the book. I also like collecting individual authors. Like I like having their entire canon. The H.G. Wells collection. I have all of Hemingway. I have all of Tolkien, obviously. Uh, you can't be a nerd without getting all of Tolkien. Uh, this is organized chaos. I know where everything is, but it's, it, it is nonsense. So this section up here, this entire middle section, not the edges, just this middle section. This is my to read section. Um, I'll do some close ups of it. But if there's a book in here, that means I haven't read it yet. This is kind of like my bookstore. Like if, if I have nothing on the docket and I want to read something, I know that if it's in here, it's something that I want to read. Something that at one point in time I was really interested in. This is a, an ever evolving and changing group of books. Uh, sometimes I'll buy something like years ago and I'll throw it on the shelf and it's still in rotation. It, I'm still waiting for that moment to be like, I really want to read this. Okay, same, same. Uh, same, same by Peter Mendelssund. Uh, it's a book about like this, this science facility in the middle of a desert that can create an exact duplicate of anything. And it's the science fiction story that comes from that. I probably bought that book six years ago. And it, it's still on my shelf because other books make it to the top. But I imagine one day... I will still have a shelf like this. Like there will still be a shelf of yet to read stuff, but everything else I will have read will fill the room. Um, that's the lifelong goal, being like in my 80s and, and spinning in place and being like, I've read all of this. Okay, I'm trying something new with, with this particular setup. <laughs> if you notice the camera's shaky, it's because I have you on a selfie stick. Uh, and I'm also holding my mic because I took down the setup I had for filming my book section because I'm an idiot. Um, but this behind me, this is my office that we're in right now. Uh, and this is my office setup. Every little kid yelled at their parents when they didn't get something that they want. One day I'm going to be a big grown up, and I'm going to buy myself everything I want. And your parents were like, good. I hope you do. This TV setup uh, and, and the footage I'm going to be showing you of my video game collection 
is that <laughs> inner child being placated. It wasn't just important for me to have all of the game systems that I wanted, which I'm a wicked PlayStation stan and Nintendo stan. It's also that I wanted eternal access to everything that I had all the time. This TV behind me has, and I'm, I'm trying to do this in my head, um, an SNES mini that's been hacked with a, a million more SNES games on it, a Wii U, which is also a Wii, a Switch, PS2, which can play my PS1, a PS3, and a PS4. My PS5 and my other Switch dock, like my permanent Switch dock, are in the living room so that I can access those ones on the big TV. That's the that's the 80 incher out there. And that's the one that I do my primary gaming on. But if I have guests over and they're like, hey, can we play Smash Brawl or something, you know, Act Razor on the SNES? Like I have everything at fingertips readiness to go in here. I can, at a moment's notice, I can pop in any game. I can play any game I want. The type of franchises I like, I'm a big Final Fantasy guy. I'm a big Sony guy. So any of the Sony exclusives, I'm a big fan of those. Um, I'm into the Yakuza games recently. Uh, I've been playing, I've played zero, one, two, and three. I still have four, five, and six to go, and then Ishin, and then like a dragon, but that's a series that I've, I've got a lot of love for. I love RPGs. I love horror games. That's kind of where I am. I would say that's the, that's the holy trinity for gaming and Ricky. RPGs, horror, and roguelikes. Big fan of roguelikes. Like the Binding of Isaacs, Vampire Survivors, stuff like that. Sneakers. So back in June, the Air Jordan movie came out, that Apple Plus movie about Nike and how it secured the rights to Michael Jordan and his shoes and, and all that jazz. Pretty much the birth of what we know about sneakers. Well, if you've watched any of my videos, you know, but if this is your first time, Hi, welcome. My biggest fandom isn't DC Comics or video games or movies. It is culture. I'm a huge fan of culture. I find it fascinating. I like movies about cults and, um, and, and cultures from around the world and especially prisons uh, because prisons all have their own unique identity and culture. Culture just fascinates me. It's why I'm a humanities professor. It's just, it, it's stuff that I'm really into. And so I realized this whole sneaker thing existed in its own culture vacuum and I had never experienced it. It's it's just like buying shoes, right? But you learn about all the different nuances of sneakers and why they exist and why they look the way they do and color wave is a term that you learn. But this is interesting. I want you to go to IMDb and look at the date for when the movie Air came out, the Matt Damon, Ben Affleck shoe movie that I'm talking about here. Because I watched the movie on a Friday with my wife, and I said, you know what? I'm going to buy a pair of Jordans. I think it would be cool to have one really nice pair of shoes that I can, like, bust out when we go to the mall or, I don't know, like, we go out to dinner, but, like, not a fancy dinner, but, like, an Applebee's kind of dinner. I'll just have the coolest shoes in the place. I go onto my phone, I download the app, and lo and behold... The very next day, dropping at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, was the Air Force One Next Chapter. These are the replica Miles Morales comic book shoes from the movie Across the Spider-Verse. I thought it was kismet. I, I have to buy these shoes. So the next morning, I jumped on, size 13, 200 bucks, ordered in one. Uh, I love these shoes. I love high tops. They, I'm, I'm 6'4 and enormous. High tops look cool on me. But my love for shoes have evolved past just comic book shoe cool into, you know those little state spoons that people used to connect, collect and they would like hang them in their kitchen from all the places around the world and the country where they visited with spoons. That's how they commemorate it. I've become that way with shoes. So when we went to Chicago home of the Bulls and Mr. Jordan himself, I got the LeBron Zoom 20s. And so next summer, I'm going down to Mississippi for that con. That's where I'm going to be spending that huge chunk of money that I keep talking about. 
Um, and there's no way I'm not buying a pair of Jordans when I go there. And next year, the wife and I are thinking about going to like London and Seattle and Austin and every one of these places, I'm going to buy a new beautiful pair of Nikes. I'm going to only wear them occasionally, you know, keep them, keep them used and loved and all that jazz. Uh, and then my collection will grow to all the different States that I've been to. I don't know. It's, I, I, sneakers are really fun and they're super nerdy too. If you think they're just like, it's its own pocket nerdiness, you're crazy. Skechers had a collaboration with One Piece. And so there are these One Piece shoes that I have. These are the Luffy's. These are the Jimbe's. And then for the Barbie movie in size 13 men's, which is my size, got the Barbie limited edition pink Crocs. And they are garish and delicious. Boy, wasn't that nerdy and sad. No, I know, title of my sex tape. No, but seriously, like I, I thought it would be really fun to have this video be a shout out and a fun comment section for people to just like take a minute and an opportunity to, to share with everybody. Like what are some of the fun things that you collect that just aren't necessarily comic books? I'm, I'm really interested. Uh, so this is the shout out portion. I'm going to shout out some very in, intentional people here that I, I want to see more of. So uh, number one, first on the list, Garage Geek. I know this person's into vinyl. Vinyl's really big in their life. So like I'm, I'm kind of calling you out, buddy. Uh, I'm excluding you from talking about comics or vinyl. Like what else do you collect? Mon Comics. Mon Comics is like... I don't even know his age, but I, I think of him like an older brother in this comic book collecting game. He started before me, and he's been instrumental in helping my channel get to the way that it is. So uh, Mon Comics, definitely I want to see. Alan from Comic Collector Geek, one of the most impressive comic collections that like is on this entire platform. I am fascinated to see what else this individual collects. I mean... If they're wooden nickels, I bet they're some of the coolest wooden nickels you've ever seen. This uh, next shout out is a kind of new friend. I haven't really uh, had a chance to work with them one-on-one, -on -one, but I've I've been in a group that they were in and I, I've watched their channel before, so I thought it was really cool. It is the fine folk over at Colossus Collector. I would love to see what else they love that isn't, you know, Colossus. Also, uh, and this is a cool one because I know this person's got some cool stuff that they collect. Mike over at Lunch Money Comics, please chime in. Uh, let me know what you're what you're collecting, what you're looking for when you go to all these flea markets that isn't men in tights sweating and punching. Second to last, Mr. Aiken from What's on the Comic Rack. I want to know what are you what are you peeping when you go to these yard sales? What are you hoarding in that? Really cool man cave, which I demand a tour of as well. Uh, some of the footage that he's sent me recently was showed me like a, a backdrop of some of the stuff that is beyond the camera, and it's impressive. I'd like to see that room. And last but not least, all of you fine people, if you are a member of this comic book community, if you're watching videos like this, then you're a big old nerd, and I want to be your friend. So hit subscribe, join the party, watch the videos, comment. I'd love that. But also specifically, comment below, what are you collecting that isn't just comic book nonsense? That's it. There's no clever ending to this video. Love you, bye.